I've got another example here of an array formula, an array function. We want to create a VBA array function called diagonals that's going to extract the diagonal elements of a square matrix and place them in a column vector. So when we do that, then we can type in diagonals of the square matrix here, control shift enter, and it just plucks out those diagonal elements. So we can write in our function, diagonals, the output vector is just going to be a psi, it's going to be a column vector of size whatever the uh, dimensions of range. So we can count that. We need to dim a few variables. So I've dimmed i. We're going to be doing an iteration. We've got n. That's going to be the size. And because it's a square matrix, I could either count the rows or the columns um, of rng, which is the argument of this function. So then I've set up a for loop. The diagonal elements are those where the row equals the column. I also need to dim up here my vector, the output vector that's going to be the diagonals, and I'll call this d. So we need to dim d. We don't know the size yet. After we count the size, then I can redim d. d is going to be an n by 1 column vector. So I've dimmed, I've redimmed that. Now the all the elements of D are just going to be the ii components of our range array. So I'm going to define each element of D. Remember, D is going to be a column vector equal to range dot cells i comma i. So we're going to pluck out the one one element of the range. We're going to pluck out the two two, the three three, and so on. So we're going to do that. We're going to create vector d, it's going to be a column vector, and then the last thing we need to do is output d. So the output of a function is always the name of the function, and I think we're ready to go. So let's go ahead and put a breakpoint on there. I'm going to go over here to Excel. You have to know the size, so it's a 5 by 5 square matrix, so I have to put in a 5 by 1 vector area in Excel. So this is going to equal to diagonals of our array and I do control shift enter, we go into debug mode. The first thing we do is count the number of rows and that's going to be five. So I can step through this using F8. We go I equals one. The first element of D is going to be equal to cells one comma one. And I forgot to do one thing. You notice here D has a zeroth row. So I'm going to go ahead and stop this. And in this case, I need option base one. So now with option base 1, it should work just fine. And I can step through this. N is 5. D now has does not have a zero throw, so we're all good. We can go through here, and we can open up the first, the second, and so on. So we've, we've plucked out the 36.5. That's a 1-1. One, one. We've plucked out the 2-2 two, two position. So that's 1.9 times 10 to the negative 2. It's in scientific notation over here and so on. So it looks like we're working, so I'm just going to resume, and we end up with all the diagonal elements of our square covariance array. So that's just another simple example of how you can use array functions to do uh, different things in Excel VBA.